good morning everyone so now uh, welcome again to our uh, discussion of the new chapter immune, immune system your own immune system the immune system that protects you from every second from you, the infectious in that are attacking you so the immune system are actually uh, interesting system that helps you to protect every second of your life they are protecting you from all the um, microbial attack in a one day it is expected that 50 to 50,000 times microbial attacks occur on your body and from that every second they are fighting those bugs they are fighting those microorganism and keeping you healthy so immune system actually works on a uh, different layer you can say different steps where they take their action comes into the play they are initially there are certain uh, barriers that access then there are the certain cells that take place if they are not able to uh, handle then they will go to the adaptive immunity and then uh, helps in the antibody formation and then they will finally clear all this uh, infection and the inflammation cease and then come back to the normal so immune system is a system that protects us from getting infection uh, let's move forward so the immune system can be is a complex network of cell and proteins that defends the body against the infection we can simply define in such a way that is a complex network of cells and proteins that defends the body against the infection so that can be defined or you can say uh, concept concept can be uh, taken in such a way that is there is a such a network inside your body that is composed of many uh, cells as well as the protein and that defend the body against the any microbial that in try to invade or they to any infection they try to uh, capture your body that try, try to dominate your body and get you sick you have to understand every second when there is an attack by any microbes then your body uh, immune system uh, triggers and then turns on and then try to defend the organism even you noticed you will not notice that because once the organism enters it starts to play its action and then it works continuously 24 7 every times every second it is working and it is trying to capture or eliminate all those microbes out from your body if they are not able to do that by all those layers or say all the first line second line and third line defense then you will suffer sick and then at that time your own body will not able to handle so you need additional uh, you need to go to the hospital you need to take the antibiotics or antiviral you need to get treatment then only you will be improved so that will actually the uh, drugs or the say that supportive treatment they all will helps the immunity to recover the those micro to fight against the microorganism because if you administration the antibiotic the antibiotic will kill this organism and now the fight the the population of the say invaders will be less or say it will come to very less so that our body will be uh, will become upper hand and then will clear all those dead as well as live microorganism from your body so this is the fight this is the war between the microbes area and your own immune system your own own immune cells your own immune boundaries layers protection against those organism or say infection the immune system also keeps a record of every germ microbes it has ever defeated so it can recognize and destroy the microbes quickly if it enters the body again so there is another provision as well if it has already defeated that organism and if it is in protein in nature they do not keep the record of this uh, fat or carbohydrate but they keep the record of the protein component of the any virus or bacteria or everything anything so if there is a protein content they will keep, keep they will go through the t cell memory and t cell will be activated they will form the memory cell and then the, they will keep the record of the defeat so if they have win that battle so they will keep the record of every uh, organism that has win and in the form of memory cell and the second time if the organism try to again attack us so we already have the memory we have the memory that we have win this organism in this pattern so they already have this uh, factory house of antibody in a memory cell form when they try to again evade us we already have preformed so you, memory cell they will attack immediately and eliminate it so in the primary attack it will take the time for processing from the beginning like from beginning they will prevent if not they will come to the innate immunity where they will process then come to the t cell adaptive immunity t cell and b cell and again, again then antibody formation and then memory cell so this is the long process but when 
this is the second time exposure this is the second invader second time attack they already have the memory cell if they enter into your cell body inside you, you can imagine your body as a country and your skin as a boundary so if it enter inside your boundary cell they will attack they will if they saw those organisms the invader they will attack and kill and then clearly eliminate in this way the body acts okay so they fight fight against the in infection they also keep the record of any battle any infection that has uh, win so they will keep that record as a memory cell okay and if they attack us again we'll immediately activate that memory cell from the antibody and clear that organism there is another possibilities of abnormalities of the immune system can lead to the allergic immunodeficiency or autoimmune disorder so you also have to remember this immunity so immunity immune system has a one of the provision to recognize self your whole whole body all the tissue trillions of tissue inside your body this should be recognized as self self this would if they any by means will be recognized as a foreigner then they will form that autoimmune disorder autoimmune disease will develop so your immune system of the cell of your own should not be recognized as non-self it was recognized as a self that is your own part of your body if it is recognized and all any foreign particles should be recognized as non-self and then attack that non uh, foreign particle and clear out from the body okay so if by any chance they will uh, remember or they will uh, if they by any chance they will at recognize our own cell as a foreign substance then they will develop this autoimmune disorder and that you have to remember as well so now let's move on how this immune system can be classified actually immune system can be classified in the two form in two basic form one is in innate Im immunity in born immunity non-specific non defense mechanism and another is acquired immunity adaptive immunity or specific defense mechanism so there are two defense mechanism in your body one is in born innate like skin is present in your body from the birth it will prevent as a barrier to entry of the many of the microorganisms so that you have to understand so that is present within with the birth that is inborn immunity but it has a disadvantage that it is non-specific it will not uh, act a, uh, on a specific bacteria or a specific bacteria virus any virus any bacteria act on us they will prevent in the same manner for all the organism they will act as the same defense system they will their action will be same they are at the wall so they will not prevent your other foreign invader to enter inside your body enter inside your country so that is the point but adaptive immunity that is is the specific if it is the okay it is a rush uh, it is a uh, any russian shoulder or american shoulder or um, uh, what's a european shoulder or asian shoulder anything so they will act specifically on that particular only they will activate the immune system the bomb the antibody against that specific bacteria or virus only so that is specific immune system that is acquired immune system or say third line of defense so your first line of defense is comes under the uh, physical barrier like skin mucus nasal hair cilia they are preventing the organism to enter inside the body they have other chemical barrier as well like oil and sebaceous uh, sweat glands stomach acid that kills making many microorganism only few organism can survive in your gastric juice then lysosomal enzyme in your tears and tissue fluid they also prevent the organism to grow in the this fluids uh, or cause infection in that so that you have to understand so your if you remember your body as a country then your skin as a wall boundary there are only few holes like a eyes nose mouth or lower holes from where so like genitive urinary tract or say anal canal from here only the organism can enter inside your body otherwise you need to have a bridge in the wall bridge in the skin to in, for our, the organism to enter inside your body so that you have to remember so that is the first line of defense by any means if they have breached that first line of defense then the second line of defense will kicks on and that is the part of innate immunity as well so innate immunity has first line defense that will prevent the organism if the organism is not prevented then what happens they will come and goes into the this phagocytosis like phagocyte macrophage and wbc inflammatory reactions fever interferon complement system and natural killer cell so these cells will be activated initial was to prevent once it has been entered the cells like neutrophil macrophage your phagocytic cell your policeman inside your body they will comes into the role and they will try to kill all those microorganism by phagocytosis okay if they are not able to kill then they themselves goes to the 
uh, your local lymph node where they will present it and say look I have this organism which I was unable to kill now this is a very powerful organism we need to act together and then kill this then it will go and present to the third line like active immunity and through the lymph node and they will activate the T cell then T cell will send signal to the B cell B cell will convert into the plasma cell then they release the antibody this antibody will go back and activate this macrophage and helps in killing that is called opsonization they also activate the complement system and uh, form the wall drill into the bacteria and this in this way they will kill all those pathogenic microorganisms and finally they will seize all the inflammation and we will be again resolved back to the normal healthy life okay so second line of defense is phagocytic cell also the complement system but it is not the uh, classical pathway it is alternative pathway there is a natural killer cell that deals with the intracellular bacteria and viruses so an interferon is there uh, inflammatory reaction will be there must thing you have to remember is neutrophil macrophage that kills the all the organism so that is important if they are not able to handle there then they will go to the local immune system and local uh, say lymph node where they will uh, start they will activate this T cell then T cell will activate B cell and antibody will form this adaptive immunity is actually two type active immunity and passive immunity and active immunity is where the body plays role for form the antibody in passive immunity body your own body will does not play any role in formation of antibody let me explain over here so uh, physical barrier I'll come back because you can see we are talking about this adaptive immunity adaptive immunity has active and passive role active is like it has the body where itself develops this immunity take part in the role of developing this antibody in passive you get this antibody preformed from the outside that may be natural and artificial so you can get antibody from the mother in through the placenta and through the breast milk that is natural passive immunity you are getting antibody but that is formed in the mother not inside your own body so this is passive but getting from the naturally from mother so it is the passive natural immunity you can give this uh, antibody in the artificial form as well like you are getting antibody preformed from the horse diphtheric serum or say horse rabies immunoglobin or say anti uh, human immunoglobulin this immuno immunoglobulin that is obtained from the animal and then purified and as a product and then selling in the market if you get a tetanus infection you get tetanus immunoglobin you get rabies infection you get rabies immunoglobin you get diphtheria infection you get diphtheria immunoglobin and that is actually passive antibody that is made artificially and given to your body your body doesn't play any role in formation of this antibody so active is where the body takes part in the formation of antibody like you have an infection like clinical or subclinical infection so in that case your body will take part in the um, body will make antibody against the virus and then develop then antibody is formed and then you are clearing the infection so that is the active but natural one so clinical is you have a symptom subclinically you may notice not notice that many bacteria or viruses attack but that has been clear that is subclinical no symptom symptomatic uh, any clinical sign or symptom so you have no symptoms but the virus has attack and that has been cleared off so this is a subclinical infection the act active immunity can also be developed artificially by giving vaccination what is vaccine vaccine when you give to the person the body will act, take it as a foreign substance then will act against that and form the antibody so body is taking part in formation of antibody so this is active role and it is since vaccine is given artificially we have given from the outside so this is the active artificial immunity naturally we will get disease and will form natural infection as well so we have talked about this acquired and innate innate is a blood bond this physical barrier is skin mucous membrane saliva flushing action with the urine tear stomach acid then phagocytic cells this all acting is then complement is the alternate pathway if they are not able to do then they will take care the help of this acquired immunity t cell and b cell and which help in the formation of antibody and this antibody formation after formation this will kill the organism by opsonization that is increasing the role of the macrophage by activating the compl complement pathway and clearing the organism so innate and innate immunity and acquired immunity phagocytic natural killer cell dendritic cell macrophage neutrophil eosinophil and basophil lymphocyte has many cell you have to understand so let's move to the we have again here acquired immunity where we have discussed about the active and passive active immunity i can be by both naturally by clinical or subclinical infection or artificially by taking vaccination passive can also be naturally obtained from the mother that through the placenta immunoglobin g and through the breast milk immunoglobin a and artificially from the Im immune serum medicine once the organism first is physical barrier that prevents to interrupt the organism if that breach 
they begin to get into the tissue where cells like cellular attack i've talked about this macrophage neutrophil this will attack that and try to kill that if that as this organism has reached to the blood in the blood there is the alternative pathway that will act activate and then form the membrane attack complex and try to kill the organism most of the infection will be clear by innate immune system only if they are not able to kill clear that organism not able to fight that organism then only they will take the help of your adaptive immunity this slide can uh, summarize everything anatomical and physical barrier will try to prevent if the organism enters the phagocytic cells will try to kill and granulocyte even blood then complement pathway will activate it and try to kill this is a unit immune response if they are not able to kill then they produce the cytokines which will release and activate the t cell if t cell is activated this will release the cytokines that activate the b cell and antibody will form this antibody will again activate this your macrophages biopsonization and kill those organism this will again antigen and antibody complement will activate the classical pathway and form the membrane attack complex and kill this organism and in this way they will eliminate the organism by again giving feedback increasing the strength of your immune system your innate immunity by this adaptive response so they are atta attached to each other they are acting not independently they are acting in together and killing or activating all this fashion cascade fashion and killing those organism eliminating those organism so talking about the humoral immune system you can see the hey, this uh, cell from the innate immune system that is antigen presenting cell that is a macrophage had brought this uh, pathogen and say I, I was not able to handle please check then they will go to the t cell the t cell will be check it and then it will proliferate by the cytokines after proliferation t cell t cell will release go to the b cell and b cell will again release the cyto b cell will be selected proliferated and this will release this antibodies so their reformation of this antibodies from the b cell after converting into the plasma cell that is important so this is the humoral antibody you can see this is the b cell has been selected they can be proliferated and the plasma converted into the plasma cell and antibody has been released similar thing has been demonstrated over here they also form one of the memory cell as well during the formation if the protein nature they will form the antibody release this antibody from the plasma cell also they will form the memory cell and if there will be the set second attack this is already formed our defense mechanism after all this uh, missiles or say uh, uh, all this uh, atom bomb are ready if they are attacking will bombard and clear all those infection so that is important so there is anti humoral and mediated immunity, immunity there is also a cell cell mediated immunity cell mediated immunity is usually all for the intracellular organism those organ inside your cell that is also killed but that is killed along with the infected cell so that is done by cell mediated immunity the previous was humoral immunity that the antibody or that there is virus bacteria present in the inside the fluid in the humorous environment that is killed in this way if it has gone inside the cell that will be clear by the cell mediated immunity by cytotoxic t cell or say natural killer cell okay so talking about the immune response initially there is the entry of the microorganism then there is the initial in, 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 innate immune response takes place if they are not able to have handle they will give to the adaptive immunity so adaptive immunity induction will occur they will form the additive immune response and the pathogen will be clear in this way your immune system works and in this way this are the cycle of your clearing of the any organism that enter inside your body or cell so what are the uh, com 